everyone. Happy New Year's. This will be the first video up for the new year. I'm so excited about 2019. Uh, my 2018 was great. There was so many wonderful things that, uh, that went on in 2018. And um, so I have just been very blessed and uh, looking forward to 2019, as I hope you are too. Um, I have three journals that I want to share, and then I have some things that I'm putting in the Etsy shop. Well, they're already in there, actually. Um, so, uh, but anyway, I just want to do a quick share. I, as you know, uh, really am inspired when I watch Sagita. Um, and um, she had got this paper line, and I had never seen it before, never even heard of it. But it is the Dear Diary. Let's see if I can get this in here. Um, Dear Diary, there we are, by uh, Monte. And anyway, it is just beautiful paper. So, so wonderful. But uh, she had actually made uh, a journal or two out of this paper line. Um, I had to actually look it up. I, like I said, I'd never heard of them before. But I did find someone in the States that sold it, so um, I cannot remember uh, who it was from that I ordered it now because it's been a little bit. I've had it for a little bit. But um, anyway, beautiful paper, but uh, she had been um, using that, like I said, and she's been using a lot of pink gessos and things. And so I always get so much inspiration when I watch her videos that um, it just inspired me to play with some gesso. So I think in maybe one or two of the albums I may have done that. Uh, but I have three journals is what I have. I have one little paper bag journal here. Uh, with the white bags. I have another just little journal and you can see some raggedies hanging out here. Um, so cute. And that I've just done with some baker's twine or some twine. That's pretty thick for baker's twine. And um, then I had one that actually I was doing one thing and ended up doing something different. You know how maybe you have something in your mind and it doesn't quite work out? And so you just kind of improvise. So that's that's what this one is. So, but it still turned out uh, just fine, and I'm I'm very happy with it. So I'm going to start with my little paper bag album, and then at the end of the video, I'll kind of show you some things that are that are in the Etsy shop that are new. Um, so that way, if you want to kind of stick around and see that you can, and if you don't, then that's fine too. Um, I did use just a little bulb pin here with a little vintage uh, button. And um, just some laces and things. I did not cover this paper over because I just love it. It's just got the most beautiful images. Uh, so I have just left it alone. Uh, this I've used some pink uh, polka dot fabrics. This is Dear Diary. I, I did use the Dear Diaries off the paper. They were just too cute to leave. They have the little bird on it and the little camera. Some books. They were just too cute to leave on the paper. So... Um, I actually rolled this little band around this, um, just made a little decorative there on the spine. And then I used some sari silk here to um, close it. And I have left the sari silk really long, so if you happen to be the one who purchases this and you don't want this sari silk so long, you can cut it. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to leave it long, so if your book expands, you have plenty of, of sari silk to uh, still tie with. Uh, here I've just added the little piece of uh, journaling paper. I always like to put that in the very front of the of the bag because I always think if I was if I was journaling in a bag journal that I would want to journal maybe about what my what my journal is about or the dates or the event or whatever. So I always like to put that in the very very front. Then um, this here. It's just one of the pretty images. It's just a cutout, a little cutout tag there from the paper. It's not a pocket. I did not put a pocket there. Here I've just got some collaging with that Dear Diary. Um, this here is some beautiful little trim, eyelet trim that was gifted to me from one of the ladies over at Sophie's Notes. I absolutely love that. Thank you, Holly. 
And um, here I've just got a glassine bag. I've just used some gesso. I actually used some pink and white uh, gesso on my my uh, pages and the bags that I that I did do. Here's just a tag. I've backed it in some coffee stained paper and uh, added some pink. Sorry, I, or sorry, um, seam binding. This is actually some seam binding I colored myself. It has a little bit of orange in it there as well as pink just to make it look a little aged. Um, here is just a little collage. This is another gift um, of some pink lace that I got from Holly. Just love that. Here is just a collage. I've made a little pocket. Here is just a little a little flip. Um, Lori, Girl on the Ridge, um, had a tutorial on this on her channel. And um, anyway, I made some of these. She made some with the images and I made some of them as well. But I couldn't use that in this one, so I just used one with some um, cream-colored rosettes like um, I used on the front. And that just sits in the pocket. Here's just a bag. Now this is just a Hobby Lobby bag here. And here is um, a little tag. I've backed it in some um, coffee dyed paper as well as adding some little crocheted trim there. Um, just uh, did a little collage here. And look at how cute, cute, cute these images are. Just gorgeous. And you know, this is what I love. Uh, the, the, the most um, I enjoy of the internet is when you can see what people have purchased. Otherwise, you would have no idea that it even existed. So this paper was one of those wonderful internet uh, things I love about the internet because, um, like I said, Sagita had um, had used it and it was just a paper that I had never heard of before. Um, here I've just got a craft bag is what I've got. I've done some, uh, um, got some of this. Uh, this is actually off a uh, table runner or something here that I bought a vintage. It's tatting is what it is and I use that trim. Um, just tuck that in the envelope part and then here is another another um, glassine bag that I've just gessoed. This is a small one, a small glassine and um, I do carry them in the shop and then there is a little tag and then I've just done some collaging and did a little cut apart. It comes with a little cut apart page in the in the book or in the um, ki uh, collection and then here is just a nice pretty little collage. It's not a pocket or anything there. And then I flipped that page up and stitched it down. Here is just a little pocket with this little polka dotted pink gum. And there's some more of my dyed seam binding. Just a little collage there. It's got that little vintage camera. And then I've just done some collage there. And then here is, um, is this, yeah, the part of the envelope. This is the back side. I've just collaged, added some music sheet here, um, the nice little um, tag, cutout tag from the paper collection, add some book page, of course, on my, on my uh, envelope, and then just a little journaling, a little journaling spot there. Added some more of that seam binding, and this is the other half of the the bag, the little white bag. This here is just a little um, booklet I've made. I use sari silk to even uh, uh, use on my binding there. Uh, some more collage with the birds, just lace and different things there. Um, Let's see, what did I use on this? It looks like I used a food grade uh, bag because this is glassine on the back side. So. Uh, probably a Hobby Lobby bag, I would imagine. That's where I get those from. And just some deli paper. And uh, there you are. Just a little booklet. Tied a little bit of um, seam binding in that pretty pink color. Let's see if I can get this back on here. 
And I like that at the top so it kind of hung out of the top of the bag. There we go. And then here is another glassine with some of the gesso, another little uh, page I flipped up and just stitched down. Piece of the collection backed with some coffee stained paper, a little collage there of the books. Uh, from that cut apart sheet and then here is just some coffee dyed paper with a little collage on it. I just collaged the bird with a little cheesecloth down here. I love this polka dot um, uh, fabric. I actually got this from Walmart in their little uh, fat quarters so if you are looking for something like that that is where I found that fabric. There's some more of that beautiful eyelet trim and then here is the back I've just collaged this with a little bit of paper and then I made a little just a little booklet this um, deli paper does have a little bit of the pink gesso on it um, right there that is actually what I used to um, gesso the um, glassines and I thought oh how cute that is so I just uh, kept it and put it in the put it in the uh, little booklet here. So and oh, also the uh, binding is fabric, but it's fabric on the inside here instead of on the outside. So that's that's fun. And then uh, there is the paper bag, the paper bag uh, journal, and that is exactly what I will call this dear diary paper bag journal when I have it listed in Etsy. Uh, this here will be um, probably just a um, journal, a Dear Diary journal with raggedies. That's how I will list it in the, uh, in the Etsy. And I've just used a, a, three pieces of um, this pretty twine. And I think I bought this at Tuesday morning uh, some time ago. And then here, of course, is the pretty image, just a tag, and I've just sewed some of the back here, added the little polka dotted fabric and another pretty tag from the, uh, from the collection, and there's that cut out. And this here, I've got a pocket, and I have, this is a piece of the deli paper that has been just sewed. And I've just sewed it on a piece of coffee stained paper. This is one of my library pockets. I have that in the shop also. They're very hard to see. There was really hard to get it photographed. Uh, they're kind of light and so they blend in. But that is the library pockets that are in the shop. And I've just did a little collage. This is the uh, Big Chat. These words are from Tim Holtz. And here I've done some gessoing with a little collage. Here's another uh, pretty tag. And then just some graph paper that's been coffee stained. Added some of the polka dotted fabric. A little of some vintage pink uh, paper that I have. This here, uh, one of the ladies over on Sophie's Notes shared this. Um, she did a tutorial. Now, hers looked totally different than mine. Hers were really vintage and pretty. And so I was working on this journal when she uploaded that tutorial uh, video to the group. And so I thought, oh, how fun. I have so many coffee sleeves I've saved, you know, because back in the day, everybody did coffee sleeves they made journals out of coffee sleeves they did and then they kind of died down and and anyway at that time i saved a lot of a lot of coffee sleeves and so i do have a lot of coffee sleeves in my stash so when i seen that i um thought oh i need to just make uh, a pocket out of those for uh, this journal so i watched her tutorial she actually cut this in half and um and did both halves. That way she had two uh, different pockets. So I have two uh, coffee sleeve pockets in this in this uh, journal. And then here I've just added some little fabric. This is just one of those big index cards. 
some more gesso. I was just playing around with the gesso. This here um, was gifted to me. This is a candy, I believe a little candy wrapper. Um, but that was gifted to me from Holly um, over at Sophie's Notes. Uh, just just um, so cute. And I had to put one in here. I had to. Uh, yeah, fine chocolate. Because there's the back side of it. It says fine chocolate. But uh, anyway, I, I just appreciate that Happy Meal so much. And then some more gesso and the bird and some cheesecloth and just kind of stitched it on. Um, here is just a little tag. Coffee stained glassine. I believe this is a large glassine bag here. And then here is a fun little, um, I stitched that down, but uh, it's just a uh, little journaling, little journaling spot there. But I, I have it where I can kind of tip that over the thing, and it, it just mocks the, um, the, uh, which I'm gonna call it there, the, the photo. So, anyway, just kind of fun. I just hand cut, fussy cut the, um, whoops, fussy cut the um, little um, bulbs out is what I did. So. And then this is a Sagita. Uh, I ordered some of these um, some time ago. Oops, one of them's got kind of curled back. Um, I think she, I think she still has these in her shop. So, uh, just some little die cut um, papers there. Here is one raggedy here that I have made for the for the journal. So cute. And then um, Nick the booksmith, of course, um, is. The starter of the raggedies. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> I love Nick the Booksmith. And um, here is just a little, um, just a little notepad or journaling, journaling pad there. Just a little collage, a little more gesso. And then here is another, just another um, little tag I made with the paper. Here I've just added a glass scene and a couple of these long. This one I didn't back because it was already where you could journal on it. Now this one was a little dark, so I did back it in some coffee stained paper. Um, you can slip behind the glass scene and then you can slip it in the glass scene. And then it's just that sorry silk hanging off the top. Here's the other part of that coffee sleeve, and I have just collaged it up, and uh, just a little journaling, journaling paper there. This is just um, uh, some uh, ledger, like ledger paper, I believe. Well, it's not really ledger. I see author, title, and volume. It's some kind of ledger, though, for something. And then here is... Uh, I've got some threads here. Um, this is just some uh, vintage uh, paper, school paper, and I have gessoed it and added a little decorative stitch to the fabric. Same way here, just collage some, some little laces and things. Here is the second raggedy. And of course there is a little space to journal or maybe put a photo. Uh, but they're just cute. I, the raggedies are just cute. I just love them just to set in. I think they're fun. And then uh, here's another little image on some uh, vintage, uh, um, this isn't vintage, I take that back. I don't think that's a vintage music sheet. I think that's just music sheet that I have purchased. I have some in the shop, but it's, it's a lighter, it's a lighter um, lined music paper. And then just some collage there. Here is another little gessoed page, another little place for journaling there with some lace, and then I added another library pocket here, and then a couple of the words, just imagine there, some more of that deli paper that I have, uh, was using for my gesso when I was gessoing the pages and all, so. Um, anyway, here is the second journal. And then one more to go. 
and this is my oops. <laughs> So this one will actually be um, my Dear Diary journal with file folder pocket is what it will be called. Um, and what I did was I used a, a bulb pin and I've added a little charm. I've wrapped this sorry silk around a couple of times. And um, now this sorry silk has a lot of splices in it. So there is no way I could not put splices um, in it because here's another splice. So, and, and that is the thing with Sari Silk. Um, it is really pieced a lot. Sometimes when I purchase it from one place, I might be able to um, uh, have a long enough span that I don't have to have one of those in there. But I, with this here, I couldn't. So um, here are a couple little tags. And I have these tags um, in the shop and they're a little bigger you know we use the little ones but these were a little bigger than that I was actually at my local uh, office supply store and I ran across these they are just super cute and they're they're big enough let's see they're about a three and a fourth when you go from point to bottom uh, three and a fourth by almost two, so they're a little they're a little bigger than what we normally get at Staples and things, uh, or that I can get at Staples. Um, and uh, anyway, there they are, and they're just really really cute. Uh, I imagine you could purchase those maybe online at Staples, but my Staples that I have to go to don't carry the bigger ones like that. They carry the little ones. Um, but uh, I have not checked online because I just purchased them at my local um, office supply store. A little mom and pop shop is what I have. And then here is just a little booklet that I have made to go in my um, little tuck spot here. I'm going to move that out of the way. And then this I've just done some little fun uh, like a waterfall. These are some AliExpress tickets that are super cute. Um, I had some of the little envelopes left over from where um, Lori had done her tutorial, and I was making those little, um, those little, um, you know, hanging over the pocket. I'm not sure what you call them. Um, and I had some left over, so I just used that. And then here's a collage. Uh, use the Dear Diary. This is a book page. This book page actually was gifted to me by my friend Debbie over at Sophie's Notes. I've been trying to pull out some things and use it that's been gifted. Um, here is just a piece of deli paper there with some a little tab on it. Um, and actually the tab is not sewn to the, the deli paper. All I did was glue it. I sewed my tab and then I actually just glued it to to the page and that that would keep it from ripping um, that deli paper is pretty pretty uh, fragile um, and then this here is just a little tag I believe that's a little um, Hobby Lobby tag I believe and then here is just a little collage a little teacup there and the only gesso I believe in this album is just these little a little place for writing here I put a little gesso but that's really the only place I gessoed in this one. Here's just some collage of just some, uh, this is a vintage table runner here, just a piece of it, edging, cheesecloth, um, some craft uh, colored paper that is like that uh, masking paper that you can get at Walmart or the, or the uh, home stores like Lowe's or Home Depot. There's a little um, journal journal spot there. Here's another. This is one of those tags I was telling you about. All I did was coffee stain it. They come in white, but I did coffee stain that and ink it up. Um, here's just a little other part of that book page and then a little uh, tag from the um, collection. This here is kind of fun. This is just one of the large glassine bags that I have coffee dyed. Did a little um, fabric collage here with a little fabric ruffle. Um, this is some of the sari silk, and um, I will glue that back down. Um, what I did was it sets in the, the thing, and if it's not all the way glued down, it kind of, 
oh I take that back I can't glue that down and the reason being is because I use this book page and it would actually glue that that's why it's not glued down it would actually glue it to the to the paper because what I did is I took this dictionary page and I just made the booklet it's just the cover of the booklet so did a little bit of sewing not much in this so anyway it has a little bird I think this is actually the front the way the sewing looks this, this should be the front so uh, anyway this is just a little little like dictionary covered journaling book but what causes it to come up is when it goes in there if the fabric catches going in so and then um, here is the center of the signature same way here I've just glued the the tabs on I had them sewed and then just put them in um, here is this here is off of a doily an, a doily a handkerchief a vintage handkerchief and I have cut it up and so I have little pieces of this strung through the journal if you noticed it, and I didn't quite say where what it was, that is really what it is. It's just a uh, handkerchief that I have cut up, and then this is another little the dictionary dictionary booklets there. And then here's another piece of that little doily or uh, hanky. Isn't that pretty? There's some little roses. And this is another piece of the um, AliExpress tickets um, that I ordered. And then, of course, the Dear Diary again. I just liked using the Dear Diary. It was just so cute. And then uh, here is just a little tag backed in some coffee-stained paper. Another little collage with some of that masking paper back there. And here is a... This actually was an, a vintage um, pillowcase, I believe. This was a pillowcase, and I kind of cut it up. And I've got just three different tags here. There's a little collage there. Backed it with a little bit of coffee-stained paper. And it just sets in the pocket. And then this is just a pretty. It's not a pocket or anything. And some of that deli paper there. And then here is the waterfall going up. And there is just a little cut out there. I've just fussy cut that out of that little cut apart sheet. This is just a little collage there. And then here is some more of the collage. And then this is the back. I've added just a little piece of that... Uh, uh, another piece, a uh, little tag there with a piece of uh, seam binding sewed on the top, and then there is that, and it just sits in the in the pocket. Okay, now for the file folder, and this was my original idea when I when before I even started the journal. Uh, my plan was to make this the journal, so I took a craft file folder and I literally just folded it in half. I didn't really cut the front part off or anything and I was going to actually use it as the cover for the journal but it just didn't have enough bend to the spine to do that so um, even to set a regular journal in there it would be really hard to do I mean you could and tie it shut but but um, I was afraid of kind of springing the spine and so I didn't do that I just thought it would be fun just to be tied together Anyway, you could always journal on the front here, would be fun, and um, here is the back. I didn't put anything on the back. I mean, that's something you could decorate or, or leave like it is. I use this as just kind of a, a pocket, uh, pocket folder. I added two of just these craft envelopes with some more of that hanky corsage uh, collage on there and I just uh, put a piece of coffee stained paper just an eight and a half by eleven I did do some washi tape on the sticky part so that it would not um, stick anywhere 
And the other one has the same thing in it, so I won't I won't open it up. But I put this one in backwards because what I wanted to do was when you um, had that and it was sticking out that you had some of this collage showing. So um, here is the pocket I have just added. And this would be pretty. You could journal. You could add a little photo. You could add photos in your pocket. But these are just some of the pieces from the collection. I haven't backed them in anything. Um, these are just some white tags I found, shipping tags. And then here is a couple of um, just journaling tags. And you could put them in your journal or, or, um, or just whatever you want to do with those. And then here is the other collage. And like I said, it is the exact same. Uh, I just did some collage with the um, little handkerchief. There is the 8 and a half by 11 piece of paper in there. It has the washi um, over the sticky there so that it doesn't get stuck to anything. This here I added another little one of the AliExpress tickets there. A little cheesecloth layering. Here are those tags in the white uh, right here and I have them strung together and that's just a fun little, um, a fun little um, bag filled with some goodies. Um, this is a piece from the collection. Didn't didn't do anything with it. Just put it in there in case you wanted to use it for your journaling or in your journal. And then here is this. And then here is um, some coffee stained little uh, those little tags uh, with another little. Uh, ticket there from AliExpress. So um, anyway, this is the journal, guys, with the file folder pocket. And uh, anyway, it was just kind of my oops there. I um, had actually intended this to go differently, but but you know how it is sometimes when you're creating, it doesn't always go exactly how you had uh, planned it or envisioned it. So um, anyway, so this is going to be, like I said, listed as uh, just the um, uh, uh, Dear Diary Journal with Pocket Folder. So uh, there is that. Now for the things that are I wanted to show you in the Etsy shop, the labels are one thing that are in there, but um, Sharon has been busy making some doilies. And these were really hard to photograph. Um, I actually put them on music paper, but even on music paper you could see really how, how pretty the centers and things were. So I have, uh, this has the little Victorian, I believe these are Victorian red, uh, the little darker flowers are. They're just gorgeous. Um, I have one in a cardinal red right here. I love the centers. Um, I'm thinking, and she is working on some new things just for embellishments, but I'm thinking that is really pretty right there to use in a collage. So, we'll see. Maybe I can talk her into making something like that. Uh, here is, uh, I don't know if this is the soft pink or the baby pink, but it's, it's just, um, I think it's the only one I have in there that's pink, though. And there is that with the ecru. And then she has one with the little cream flowers in the ecru. So pretty. And she actually made me a smaller one, but I don't think I can glue it to my cover yet. And then here is a white and gray right here. Really pretty with that beautiful center. And anyway, guys, those are in the Etsy shop. I'll kind of show you what she made. Um, if I can find it, I may not be able to find it right here. No, I may have moved it. I think I moved it, but she had made me some small ones, and they were just gorgeous, but I'm just not sure I can glue them to my... I was going to use them on a spine of a journal, but I don't think I can yet. Uh, they're just too pretty to look at. So anyway, guys, these are, um, like I said, these are in the shop now. The journals are in the shop, and uh, I hope that you had a great, great New Year's Day. Um, just Happy New Year's to everybody, and I hope... I only wish the best for 2019 for each and every one of you. Um, I hope that you have a blessed year, uh, and I will see you in the next video.